just grab your coffee because we're gonna be here for a while okay guys so i'm back with a empties video Ooh, oh my god there's stuff leaking in here so let's start off with the infamous body butter so these are two um yeah i don't play around with this body butter it is not a game in this house with this lancome nutrice royale uh, uh body butter now this is the old packaging it's the same amount of you get 6.7 um fluid ounces it's the same thing they just um repackaged it into this but you get the same amount of product so yeah, I like I really when I recommend something, I'm not playing with y'all. Like I really do <laughs> use them. I love this. The base for this particular body butter is shea butter. Um, if you don't like shea butter, a shea butter doesn't always work on my body, but this particular shea butter uh, base actually works really nice, and it's a nice clean floral scent. You'll really really enjoy this. And I will leave everything below for you guys, just in case you want to get it. I just want to see if I have anything left in here to show you what. See, it's gone, 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 gone. So, and so I have another one that I just finished using. Um, I gotta go order another set, and I'm gonna order the set from HSN because you get two for sixty dollars on HSN. But that's this is the consistency of the shea butter and you guys must be like why are you always sniffing i suffer from really terrible allergies and i have three pit bulls y'all yeah <laughs> so i gotta go to the doctor and get my allergy injections and i'm gonna try to do it before the weather turns and it looks like the weather is gonna turn a lot earlier this year so i gotta go get my shit together but this body butter is no no joke in keeping with uh lotions this hemp uh, sweet vanilla cream and white orchid smells really really good if you like the smell of flowers and vanilla definitely go pick this up i've had this for a while so this shampoo is an og shampoo i've been using this since i was in college it's been a long time it's been around a long time, but especially if your dandruff is fungal related. This has a special ingredient in here that fights fungus related dandruff. So I really like this. It can be a little bit drying just to be 100% transparent. But what you want to do is pair this up with a very moisturizing conditioner and you should be fine. I've been using it for years. It's really good because it just gets all that grime in there. So what I normally do is use like a scalp serum, like an exfoliating scalp serum. I think I have that in here. And I go ahead and shampoo this um, with it. And it works really good for getting rid of, of dandruff and let's see oh yeah this is what i use for my scalp exfoliation it's a serum this is the clean wrench from sunday riley this right here is super expensive sunday riley is just expensive but it's super effective and it smells good this has all kind of exfoliants in it it has silicic acid it has glycolic acid and it smells like jasmine it smells really good so what i do is i pair these together um i leave this on my scalp for like a good half hour to really kind of like soften all the dandruff and then i go in with the shampoo this together if you have dandruff issues i would recommend this like i said just use a really good moisturizing deep conditioner let's see what else i got in here so spray wise I've been this I had for over the, over a year. This is the Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray in oil control. This stuff is really really good. Scandinavia actually makes all of Urban Decay spray sprays, setting sprays. So if you want a bigger version, I think these are a little bit more superior. I would get this, and I use this to set my makeup all the time. It works really well, but I just gotta go get another one. And then I really love this as well. 
Uh, this is the La Roche Posay Zero Zinc spray. Um, this is very good for people who have acne. Um, it's zinc based. And I just use it to set my face. Just you know, just wet it before I put some hyaluronic acid on. This is really good stuff. You can use this to set your makeup as well. It works really, really well. And it's like a really fine, fine mist. In terms of skincare, this is the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. This is the 4% Benzoyl Peroxide. I used the whole thing up. Ain't nothing up in here. This is a fantastic cleanser for people who have acne prone skin. Benzoyl Peroxide to me works very well for people who have acne that is oil based. So if you have oily skin, you get hormonal acne. This works really, really well and it's non drying. So I use it once a day. You could potentially use it twice a day, but I just recommend just using it it once a day in the evening um, to cleanse your skin it doesn't remove makeup though but this is really really good and then I also finished using the La Rose Pose uh, double repair matte moisturizer this is a very good moisturizer as well for people with oily skin this works really good in the summertime because it moisturizes your skin without being overly oily so this works really really well and then in terms of serums and stuff, I love this Oleg Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I had gotten this from one of the, I actually got this in a PR and I really loved it. It worked really, really well. I haven't really been using vitamin C. I got sent some vitamin C stuff by Beauty Stat, but I kind of been using more of the Caudalie, um, brightening serum but this is really good because it's good for sensitive skin it has like hyaluronic acid in it it's a very good vitamin c i love all the cameras he makes really really good quality products and then i also got through a bottle of the coda leave you know perfect uh brightening serum really really good stuff don't buy this in the states if you can buy it in europe i frequently put on my community tab when this serum is on sale I actually was was able to get this serum another bottle of it from feel unique which is i think it's a british distributor online and i got it for 47 dollars. this normally retails for 82 if you can afford it just buy it but i try to get it on sale and to be able to get it for 47 dollars is actually a really good steal because you have to pay $82. Anyway, y'all, another skincare item that I really love is this hydrating toner by PCA Skin. Oh my God, y'all, this toner, I've been using this for a while. I'm trying to see if I have another one in here. I don't think so. Just grab your coffee because we're going to be here for a while. really love this. This is a gentle exfoliating um, toner. It's really good. After I finish washing my face and everything, I just use a cotton pad with this. And I believe the base for this is lactic acid. It works really well. It's super, super gentle. So these three are empty. Um, there's a little bit left in here. I had to open it up because it wasn't acting right. So yeah, all three of these are empty. I swear by this mask now if you have sensitive skin just you know pass on this one this is for people who have very oily skin that can actually take the exfoliate there's other masks if you want recommendations just leave them below um i'll leave them below for you guys but if you have sensitive skin don't use this because it may not work for you um but all three of these are empty when i say hey i use something I use it. So these are really, really good. There's nothing left in these. I absolutely love these. And the, this particular size, this is the jumbo size. This is about $42. But this will last me like almost three to four months. And I use this maybe twice a week um, because my pores get really clogged. So, oh, another multiple product <laughs> that's empty. Yeah, so I, I tell y'all when I use something, this is not organized and I did that on purpose. So it'll be a little bit more fun. 
In terms of sunscreen, I've mentioned this product before. This is the Bondi Sands SPF 50. This is an Australian sun brand sunscreen. This works really well. I love to use it alone and not under makeup because it's really moisturizing. But if you have dry skin, this is beautiful under um, makeup. It really reminds me of the Super Goop one. Um, and this doesn't hurt your eyes or anything like that. This is a really fantastic sunscreen. It gives you a beautiful glow. And I also really love this one as well, the Everyday Humans, the Resting Beach Face SPF 30. This gives you a beautiful glow as well. And there's like a lot of other ingredients in here. There's green tea, spinach, and hyaluronic acid. And it really leaves your skin looking very moisturized. For me, because I have oily skin, I tend not to wear this under makeup because then I'll oil up a little bit. But if you have dry skin, this is perfect under makeup. This is a beautiful sunscreen. And just to show y'all again, I'm like, girl, just organize your stuff. Organize. <laughs> I went to through three bottles of the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream cleanser in four percent i love this product you guys it works super well for me and it does not dry your skin so just just so you know okay and then also there's also another um hydrating toner from pca i love this really really good stuff this is a 20 year old a cream. This is prescribed by the dermatologist. And what I like about this particular cream, it is tretinoin and benzoyl peroxide mixed together. So if you have acne prone skin, it is um, hormonal in nature, like you get it on your chin and you get like big postules. Um, this is a really good cream for you. It is super expensive and not accepted by all insurance, but I just wanted to show it to you anyway. I'm on my second bottle of it. You don't need a lot of it, just like literally a pea size amount. And I mix it with my moisturizer. I know some people don't recommend that, but I haven't had no problems. Really enjoy this acne treatment. If you do not know the most effect, I don't wanna say the most effective, but for benzoyl peroxide to be effective, it has to be at 2.5% or above. You don't need to go any further than that. Actually, you can stay at 2.5%, um, but I, I tend to use a little bit more like in terms of the um, percentage, but you don't have to go beyond 2.5%. And what I like about this particular lotion is that it's not grimy and feeling it's super smooth it almost feels like a serum um, i wish somebody would develop like a serum benzoyl peroxide something like super super thin but this is definitely very thin it's a really nice formula i like this a lot I also went through a bottle of this green tea fresh serum by Isn't Tree. Um, this was over like 20 bucks or whatever. Like I said, I'll leave everything below for y'all. Um, this is really good for people with oily skin. It's supposed to help with sebum production. Um, I thought this was pretty good. I'm on my second bottle of it. It's worth a try. Green tea is really good for you because it has like a lot of antioxidants so um, I would definitely give this a try especially under makeup um, I did see that it did help in terms of keeping the oils at bay and then of course we have this glow recipe this is the watermelon glow PHA BHA pore tight toner I really enjoyed this a lot um, I didn't purchase it again because I just kind of wanted to try it but I didn't buy it again I tend to like the PCA skin a lot better I also got through a bottle of another isn't tree sunscreen and I really like this sunscreen a lot it's SPF 50 it's the water sun gel and it's the hyaluronic base this was a really nice smooth sunscreen and it did not leave a white cast very good and like I just said I have multiple of the same product just to show you that I actually do use the products that I recommend. Love this stuff. And then my dogs got to this. 
This is a Bakuchi oil moisturizer. No, Bakuchi oil is not a plant retinol. Please do not fall for that. It's not. <laughs> it's a really nice antioxidant. It's pretty good for your skin, but it's not a plant-based um, retinol. Um, Dr. Dre has a video of it. If you don't know, I'll put a picture of her up here. She's a board certified dermatologist and did a whole video on Bakuchi oil explaining what it is and how it's not a retinol, plant version of retinol. I got through a bottle of this e.l.f. Niacinamide Serum. This is the pore control minimizing serum with willow bark uh, extract and tea tree. I like this a lot and it's super inexpensive as well. It's a beautiful light serum. I thought it worked really well for um, for keeping oil at bay and getting your your pores to look really beautiful. And just to let you know, I wanted to show y'all again. <laughs> It was like, girl, just organize it and show us. Just to let you know, I have four bottles of this um, Glam Glow Mud. So this is the fourth bottle that I've been through. Also, this is actually one of my favorite sunscreen. I need to go buy another one of these. This is the Sun Project Water Sun Cream and SPF 50. It's by Thank You Pharma, another Korean skin skin care brand. I love this. It's super moisturizing. Looks makes your skin look super supple and beautiful. You don't need a moisturizer. Just put this on. And you'll have beautiful, beautiful skin. And I also got through a bottle. This is the, the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Exfoliating um, Toner. This is beautiful. This toner was really nice. I actually would buy this again if I wasn't addicted to the PCA um, uh, toner, hydrating toner. Oh yeah, I wanted to show y'all, I did go through, Laneige also has a Hydro UV Defense Sunscreen Serum. It's not serum, it's a sunscreen cream. Um, I also really love this as well. I also have a video of this up on my channel, so definitely check it out. I'll leave it below for you. I love this sunscreen. It's super moisturizing, but not heavy. So this is great under makeup. I used to use it under my makeup all the time. Really, really good stuff. And it doesn't burn the eye. I also got through a bottle of the Saltair Serum Deodorant. I love this deodorant. It's actually the best deodorant I've ever used in my whole life. It's a 5% AHA deodorant, so it really exfoliates under your arms. It, like if you have dark marks underneath there, it will help brighten it for you. I love it and it's super effective. Along with my chlorophyll, like when I sweat, I really don't smell anything. It works super, super well. One of the best deodorants. And there's no aluminum in this. Smells so, so good. I love it. And then let's see what else. Oh, I, we're almost done. So I did use some hair stuff. I did get through a bottle of the K18. This is the small version. This is actually one of the best protein treatments I've ever used on my 4C hair. This works really, really, really well to basically help combat damage. I love this. Works super, super well. And I went to, through these uh, L'Oreal Paris uh, magic root cover-ups. Oh my God. If you guys have grays that you want to cover up that you're not necessarily wanting to color or anything like that, this is super effective as well. It looks really, really natural. Um, and these are not expensive. I think they're like $10. They last a long time as well. I got the dark brown and black. This is another uh, root cover-up that I did buy by Tache. I didn't really like this one so much. It was, it was okay. I like the L'Oreal ones better. And then the last product I got through, like, look how dirty this is. Um, this is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Perfume. This is one of my favorite perfumes of all time. I have another bottle there. Um, I actually have two bottle backup bottles. I love this perfume. It's a beautiful, like, beach 
uh, coconut, pineapple, vanilla smell. It's, it's super sophisticated, grown and sexy. I really love this as well. They also make like a little travel version that I usually just throw in my purse. But I love this perfume. Um, and that's it y'all. That's all of my empties. I hope this video is not too long and not too chaotic. I kind of like it like that. So you get a little bit of a surprise. Um, but if you have any questions, uh, if you have products that you like to use, that you've used frequently and have multiple empties, definitely leave them below. If you have any recommendations for me or things you want me to try, definitely leave those below as well. And I'll see y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe.